So my advice would be um, use your pattern recognition skills if you have them, and a lot of us do. Um, take time. Do not plunge like I did head first into this like a wrecking ball Miley Cyrus and I came and so <laughs> and so I had to spend a lot of time going backwards too but the journey of advocacy um, is very much like, like a journey through your life so you begin off and these are your baby years and they're going to be rough and then you're going to move into your teen years and they're going to be terrible but you're going to grow through them and you're going to gain those experiences and then you're going to grow into a more mature advocate so it's take time use your pattern recognition skills and find respected members of the autistic community like Trudy said find out what the um, the major topics are the the things that can end up getting you swarmed online if you're going to jump into that role because it can be very quick, very immediate, very traumatizing. Um, you need to have a plan for self-care before you ever start advocating and you need to understand what self-care is um, and, and learn ways to do that, knowing when to walk away, understanding, um, you know, it's very hard for us to let go of things. We so greatly want to write them, so greatly want to make it fair. It just, you know, I really, in just peace, love, and happiness at the core of me, I really just, just wish we could all be that way. So the fall from hope, you know, because hope is a big thing for us. So, you know, realize that you're going to have to maybe temper some of that. You're going to have big setbacks, but it's going to be a, a great and enriching learning experience and that you have a community who is waiting for you and can't wait to embrace you. Um, this is more uh, advice for the community that's wanting to support autistics. I would love to see books written by autistics in every school and public library because most communities, no matter how isolated, no matter how rural, have a school, have a community center, have at least a small library shared. And when you read books, by an adult or a teen, as in the case of The Reason I Jump. When you read a book written by an autistic, you get a window into a life that actually reflects you. And all of a sudden, you don't feel like the sore thumb to the same degree. You recognize that there are other people out there who are like you in a way you've never seen reflected before. And that there are values to this way of being. There are gifts that come with the challenges. Those gifts are huge, but they're often buried by the health, the communication, the other challenges that get in the way of those gifts being fully expressed. Please, make books available, because even where you don't have internet, if there's a book written by someone like Donna Williams, or John Elder Robeson, or, I'm gonna get his name wrong, but it's Hidoki something, <laughs> Naoki something, <laughs> but he, 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 when you read those books, you see yourself and you see autism differently. When we read those books, it's a sigh of relief. It's okay, I'm not alone. There are other people like me.